Good morning everybody, I hope you are all really really happy and healthy, everything is working in your favour and just life is good. Today I am going to be showing you a first impression on the new Revlon Candid Foundation and Concealer. Okay, so I've just jumped onto the Revlon website. So the description is that it's a skin enhancing foundation with a flawless natural finish. It's got anti-pollution, antioxidant, and anti-blue light ingredients. I actually am not familiar with the anti-blue light, so if anybody wants to let me know, please do, or I'll Google it after this and I'll let you know. Um, it's got ingredients without oils, parabens, phthalates, synthetic fragrances, or dyes, and it's a creamy smooth texture that goes on like a moisturizer. Blends invisibly to even the skin out. It's a medium buildable coverage with a weightless feel. Now in America, there are 31 skin tone matching shades. In Australia, on the shelves, I can see maybe 10 or 15. Good job, Australia. Well done. Love the diversity. I'm just going to do my makeup as I normally would. I've got the Australis Original Primer. I will be starting off with the foundation. So this is what the packaging looks like. I have the shade 330 Light Honey. Now, one downside that I found to this, um, on the shelf anyway, was... It has it set out in skin tones, so neutral, warm, cool tones, okay? And it's got a little description there as to how to match your skin tone. And I personally don't find that accurate. So if you need a color match, ask your beauty advisor, put some on your neck. If you can't see it, it matches. I've also grabbed the concealer. This is the shade Creme Brulee. So the foundation has a pump applicator, which I love, and the concealer is on a stick. I'm literally just going to start by putting one pump on my sponge and gently patting that all throughout my face. Okay. This coverage. The smell is like paint. <laughs> Still one pump. Now you guys know that I absolutely love the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I'll never not love that foundation. But because I'm so yellow but still kind of medium to light, I get so sick of mixing foundation. I need something that I can wear to work that I no longer mix together. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you right in so I can show you what it looks. This is just with one pump. So, this is the obviously left side of my face. You can see I've got a lot of freckles, a lot of red spots. I don't really have much texture, like that's a little bump there because it's a pimple. Um, but my skin is pretty smooth, it's just coloured, so or discoloured more so. Um, and then this is the other side. I don't have any filters or anything on this camera either, so... It feels literally like I'm wearing nothing, I know I say that about most foundations. Maybe I'm just used to a foundation, but this feels incredible. Oh, I look bald. That's fine. Um, I'm going to do one more pump on the other side of my face, and then I'm going to go through and build up. I did notice the other day as well, you get 22 mil. Most foundations, you will get 30 mil. That's kind of like the Australian standard. I think it's everywhere standard, like worldwide. Okay, one thing I've noticed since having dark hair is how much foundation I get in my hair. I never realized until now, because I was blonde, my foundation used to match my skin. Um, my fan oh, of course it did, buddy. My foundation used to match my hair, but now I've just got a halo going on. Okay, this color is pretty spot on. It'd be very interesting to see if it oxidizes or not. So that is both sides of my face done. You can see it's covered my blemishes mostly, not completely. Especially my cheeks, but I don't own a foundation where I don't need to put two layers over my cheeks. My forehead looks really nice. It looks really smooth. It looks quite glowy. Covers my nose. I have a little bit of, I think it's sun damage. It's like discoloration of some sort. Surprise, surprise. It's just here on my nose. Um, and that is probably one of the trickiest parts to cover. But I'll go in now with my second layer just over my problem areas. Then I literally just go back in. Now that that is all over, I'm going to zoom you guys back in so you can have a closer look. This is my left side, so this is the side that I had blemishes before. It's definitely not an extreme coverage, but it doesn't claim that it is. Normally my Superstay can cover my freckles. This hasn't, but again, it doesn't claim 
to be a full coverage makeup. Time for concealer. So this is creme brulee. So that's just the amount of like the applicator. I'm not going to go in with any more yet. I just want to see how this applies first. So. You want to see the before rewind about 20 seconds it's got a really nice yellow tone to it so i feel like it does that like brightening effect that banana powder does if you ever and i'm not condoning drinking but if you ever want a drinking game watch one of my videos and take a shot every time i say so or all right but anyway, this is the concealer under my eyes. It's actually not creased. I've got, I haven't got powder on or anything yet. Um, it's actually not creased too bad at all. Um, but I'm going to go straight in with powder now. I'm going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I use this every single day with my drugstore makeup. And then I'm going to apply a combination of that same powder um, mixed with the True Match Minerals from L'Oreal. Um, I just find that these are too much by themselves, but mixed in with this loose powder, they look really, really nice. Um, an alternative would just be to buy the new Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. That would work really well, but I don't like waste, and I'm going to use what I have first. So. And we are done. First impression on this foundation. It applies really, really well, really quick, easy, and it does feel like you're wearing nothing. Didn't oxidize pretty much at all, which is always, always, always a plus. Um, I would like to see how it works without powder, but I'm not that kind of girl. So for me, this feels and looks amazing so far. I will jump on at the end of the day and tell you what I think fully about the foundation. I may not be wearing makeup though because I go to the gym and I remove my makeup before that. So yes, straight away I would give it a solid 9 out of 10. It does everything it says it's going to do. Um, two downsides, one it's only 22 mil and two that Australia doesn't keep a very good range of colors at all. Um, but other than that, the foundation itself is fantastic oh i was going to have a look as well at what a blue light thingy is 
So I just looked up the um, blue light protection kind of thing in foundations. I did not know it was a thing. I knew it was a thing for your eyes. So I always have my iPhone on the bedtime or um, nighttime version because it is of a yellow hue rather than a blue hue. Um, and I prefer it anyway. Anyway, so the blue light can damage your skin. That's pretty much what it comes down to. I didn't read too much into it. Just had a little quick search online and damaging to the skin. So this foundation is protecting us from our phones and laptops. Something I didn't know, but apparently we need it. So anyway, hey guys. So I didn't get a chance to update you last night or after work yesterday about my foundation. Um, so I'm going to do that now. All I wanted to say is that I would give the foundation a solid nine out of 10. It did oxidize quite a bit after about an hour and it wasn't even like getting dark. It was just changing color, like the tone of it. My face ended up a little bit more orange than it started off with. But at the same time, I'm finding a lot of foundations are doing that with me recently. Other than that, it wore really, really well. It stayed full coverage, stayed comfortable. It didn't get shiny. Like it was just a very, very good foundation. Definitely recommend getting your hands on this. Um, and the concealer, it was a very, very nice concealer. It's a really nice consistency. It's really comfortable on the under eye area. It doesn't sting when you apply it, which does happen with some concealers. And it works really fine as a base for an eyeshadow as well. As I just said, I do highly recommend getting your hands on this foundation. The reason I didn't give it a 10 out of 10, as I said, the color slightly changes but just see how you go give yourself a color match grab a sample something like that and the second thing being the fact that it's only 22 mil i will add the fact that they have a crap shade range i hope you all have an amazing day thank you so so much for watching i do really really appreciate it bye